And here we go again. Looks like Justin Timberlake is obsessed with Britney, even though they're not a thing anymore. Every other day, we hear some weird little quirky fact about this duo, and the cycle just keeps going on and on. Just recently, some more trouble was stirred up when Justin had some really shocking things to say after he was asked some pretty invasive questions about his past relationship. Let's find out more, starting with Justin's dirty comment. Again, addressing the topic of adultery as the cause of the relationship's demise, Justin Timberlake produced What Goes Around Comes Around four years after the couple had split up. In a series of interviews given while the media focused on Britney, the ex and sync member made various insensitive remarks about her. According to Cron.com, Justin discussed their close relationship in an interview with Hot 97. He said, I did it. When questioned whether he had oral intercourse with Spears, Justin replied, I did it. I'm dirty. He also added, I'm in so much damn trouble, man. I'm going to get calls from my mother. Jeez, that sounds so creepy. Why did he have to bring it up again so many years after they'd broken up? We can only wait to see how Britney reacts to this comment. Next up, the mess that led to it all. Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake were heavily publicized as a couple in the late 1990s and early 2000s. In 1992, the duo met each other on the set of Disney's The Mickey Mouse Club, but it wasn't until 1999 that their relationship was officially confirmed. The pair also made history at the 2001 American Music Awards by showing up in identical denim ensembles that have become quite the moment in pop culture. After the breakup, Justin wrote his hit single, Cry Me a River, and while he denied it at the time, the pop star eventually admitted that the song was about Britney. The split was reported to have been caused by public pressure and Britney Spears' suspected adultery, despite Britney's status as one of the industry's most promising performers. Justin Timberlake discussed his relationship in depth during an interview with Barbara Walters, saying that a woman's lips are the first feature he notices about her. Is that why he fell in love with Britney? The duo broke up suddenly after dating for over three years, and Spears was under intense public scrutiny when allegations of the extramarital affair surfaced, leading to her image being tarnished in the media for a long, long time, followed by the aftermath of a messy breakup. Following the release of a documentary that revisited his separation from Britney Spears, Justin Timberlake's Instagram comments were overwhelmed with negative remarks demanding an apology from the singer. The film explores the current hashtag Free Britney campaign after documenting Britney's rise to prominence, which was marked by sexism and media intrusion. After its release, the public was after Justin's life, talking about how he had contributed to her being painted as a bad person. It was unsettling to see the harsh criticism she faced throughout her romance and separation from Justin Timberlake, which was only one of many awkward parts of the documentary. Moving on to The Chaos After the Storm. The infamous Cry Me a River video featured a doppelganger of Britney Spears, which just confirmed all rumors of the song being written about her alleged infidelity, adding fuel to the fire. Spears said in an interview with Rolling Stone that the Cry Me a River music video made her feel deceived. She said she was in shock and that she didn't know what to do. That was the last thing I ever thought somebody might do. I was really, really shocked. But you live and you learn said the Gimme More singer. And if you think that was sad, wait till you hear the rest. Britney claimed that before Justin had released the song, he called her up to ask her if she was okay. And what's even crazier is that he used this moment to try and convince Britney into getting back together with him. And when she refused, he straight up told her that she was going to be referenced in a video that the singer was about to release. Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal, Justin had said. But clearly, that wasn't the case. According to Britney, if she had ever ever seen the video, she would never have agreed to it being released like this. However, despite all this, Britney has taken full responsibility for the couple's separation in an interview with Diane Sawyer. The singer did go on to talk about how Justin weaponized the split for his personal gain by boasting in many interviews that he had sex with Britney. After seeing the documentary, many people turned to Twitter to voice their disgust with Justin's actions in the aftermath of the breakup and the underlying sexism they saw in the public's reaction to Britney. So it looks like these two always had some bad blood. Coming up, what is the ex-couple up to now? After being together for over two decades and then splitting up, it seems that both singers have gone on with their lives. Although Britney Spears' marriage to Sam Asghari has been mired in controversy due to her ongoing battle with ex-husband Kevin Federline, Justin Timberlake has been seen out and about with his wife Jessica Biel and their children Silas and Phineas. Moving on to other news, 
news. First up, Britney compares herself to Jennifer Lopez. On Sunday, Britney Spears seemed enraged as she sent a series of messages to her 42 million Instagram followers in which she blasted her family and her management team. The 40-year-old Grammy winner painted a picture of how she felt her team had handled her case over the last 14 years, claiming that her security had been able to see her nude while she changed clothes and bathed in her own house. The toxic singer also said that Jennifer Lopez from Hustlers would never be treated the way she was. After years of unpredictable behavior, Britney's father, Jamie Spears, and attorney, Andrew M. Wallet, voluntarily put her under conservatorship on February 1, 2008. The conservatorship eventually ended in November 2021. Using Jennifer Lopez as an example, the singer took to Instagram to describe the ordeal in the hopes of convincing her followers that she was not typical of the treatment given to her artists. The singer said that she would like to see what would happen if someone ever told Jennifer Lopez to go through what she had gone through all these years. Britney then went on to say that no one would ever treat any other star like this simply because their families would always stand against it. Britney also claimed that their long-standing security crew was told to keep her inside and therefore saw her change nude and shower since there was no door for privacy. How creepy is that? Moving on, Justin and Jessica were spotted smooching. All things considered, it looks like Jessica Biel and Timberlake are having the time of their lives in Italy. The stars were seen taking it easy at their hotel, the Hotel 2 Pelicano, a high-end boutique establishment in Porto Ercoli on the Argentario coast of Tuscany on Monday. Biel and Timberlake spent the day together at the beach, swimming in the water and sipping drinks. The summer catch actress wore a cheetah print string bikini with high-waisted bottoms while on vacation. While all was going on, the sexy back singer was chilling in a pair of blue and white striped swim trunks and a navy surf shirt. One picture shows Timberlake relaxing in a beach lounger as Bio leans in for a kiss, and in still another, they are seen kissing and hugging in the water. Once done with their time in the pool and sun, the married couple returned to their hotel, where they changed into more casual summer attire in preparation for supper. Bio wore a cream-colored t-shirt by Mother with a cobalt blue and yellow pattern and a pair of short denim shorts. She wore a diamond stud earring and stacked gold necklaces, one of which being Emma Israelson's mini dove necklace. She also sported a pair of black square sunglasses to keep from overheating. She threw her hair into a haphazard top knot. Timberlake sported a white top, long olive shorts, and the Albus sunglasses by T. Keys. Soon, Timberlake will be performing at the Children's Hospital Los Angeles Gala, a charity event co-hosted by actors Chris Pine and his father, Robert Pine. Finally, a sweet wish from Justin to Jimmy Fallon. In honor of Jimmy Fallon's 48th birthday on Monday, September 19th, his friend and fellow musician Justin Timberlake sent an Instagram message to the late night talk show host. The Can't Stop the Feeling singer captioned a video of himself recording Fallon singing Roadhouse Blues by the doors in front of what looks like a tiny party, calling himself Fallon's Instagram boyfriend. Justin went on to tell his longtime friend how proud he was of him, saying that their friendship completes him. 20 years Years ago, at the 2002 MTV Video Music Awards, the now lifelong friends first met. Since then, they've grown inseparable, appearing in several comedic sketches together and actively rooting for each other's success. In 2020, during a virtual Confined Tonight Show visit, Timberlake reflected on their bromance, saying that the two just naturally hit it off, and the rest is history. That's a wrap for this video, so what did you think of Justin Timberlake's crude comment? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.